Welcome to another video. Pete with you here. It is Sunday, October 6th, and it is a beautiful day. Where am I today? Well, I am up here in Newark, Delaware. I am at the historic Head of Christiana Church and Cemetery. Yes, indeed. You can see the cemetery behind me. I'll show you the church over there. It's been around for over 300 years. And uh, what's really cool about this cemetery is there are some Revolutionary War patriots that are interred here. We're going to check them out. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right, here is some information about the head of Christiana Presbyterian Church. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you can see that it started in 1706, as it says right there. It actually was a I believe it was a log building. Yeah, a log building, and it was replaced by a brick structure, which served as the congregation until it was destroyed by fire in 1858. But within one year, the present church was built, and this is it right here. And here is a, an old bell. There isn't really any information as to where it came from. But you can tell it's it's old. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. So we're going to go check out the cemetery now, which is right over here. This sign right here tells you Revolutionary War Patriots and Head of Christiana Cemetery. And there's a whole list of them. There's uh, approximately 35 up there. Yeah, they're all here. It's a very cool looking cemetery too. You can tell there's some very old graves and headstones. So I'm now inside of the cemetery. Came through the gate back there. And uh, we're gonna take a look and see some of these old graves and headstones especially the ones uh from the revolutionary war that are interred here yeah long time i mean this this place has been around since um 1706 that's a long time so yeah i'm expecting to see some old graves and some newer ones too of course because the church is still very active so let's see what we can find so this is richard bennett i should say major richard bennett and yeah he was in the revolutionary war and you can see he died on october looks like 8th 18 some of these stones are hard to read. 1815. And yeah, he's got the flag right here. Yeah, very cool to see. This headstone here. And he's a major. This is John Jordan right here, who's also interred with his wife, Margaret. And you can tell all these graves that have the flags are those of people that were in the Revolutionary War. Patriots. We're going to check out quite a few of them today. But yeah, there's John Jordan. He was on that sign we saw. Here's another one. In memory of John Alexander who departed this life January 6, 1802. 88 years and nine months. And there, tells you right there. Revolutionary War. And here is the final resting place of Thomas Bradley. He died in 1828. He was 67 years old. Patriot in the Revolutionary War. 
this monument right here as Mary Kirkwood, mother of Major Robert Kirkwood, USA, who fell at St. Clair's defeat November 4th, 1791. Once again, there you go, Revolutionary War. And Mary Kirkwood Boyer, she died August 20th, 1851. Another one right here, this is John Evans, who lived to be 66 years old. And uh, does it say when he passed away? Departed this life August, looks like 23rd, 1828. Thank you for your service, John. Here we have Levi Davis, who was a corporal and uh, was in the Revolutionary War, of course. Born September 13th, died January 31st, 1810. So I'm walking through the cemetery, it's just amazing how many Revolutionary War Patriots are interred here. It's just incredible. You can see all the flags and I'm um, checking out as many as I can and also checking out the cemetery too because it's, you can see, it's not that big, but there are some old headstones and graves here. Some are uh, very interesting like these right here. Here's the grave of Thomas Rankin. And as it says down here, Thomas was a Lieutenant too in the Delaware Militia Revolutionary War. Have to be 60 years old. Here we have the final resting place of George Russell. He actually lived a pretty long life was 82 years old when he died in looks like October of 18. Some of these are hard to read. 57. This must be his wife right here. Rachel Russell. Yep. Now this headstone here, it's a slate one, so it's a, a bit older. And although it's not a Revolutionary War Patriot, it is Rob Hall, who died, looks like May 8th, or no, 18th, 1769. It was 21 years and six months. They put the exact age on some of these old slate stones and I have seen them before. But yeah, there's one in the back here of the cemetery. There's a house right there. And of course the church right over there. Right here we have a family. It's the Holland family. And on this headstone, we have Thomas Holland, who was indeed in the Revolutionary War. And uh, he lived to be 92. That's incredible for back then. And he had very little medicine and things like that. But yeah, you know, this is the family right here. This must be the son. This one right here is very hard to read. And it also has a, a crack going through it and right here well this is Mary Scott but you can see the brick has been repaired multiple times amazing and that one too 
So you can see. What do you expect for some of these uh, graves and headstones, you know, standing up to the elements of time and nature? Right here we have William and Martha Crawford. And William, of course, was in the Revolutionary War. He's interred here next to his wife. Looks like he lived to be like 80. Some of these are just so hard to read. 87? That's pretty good. It's a long life for back then. His wife, Martha. So as I pan around the cemetery, you see that there are a lot of flags everywhere. And it's not just Revolutionary War patriots that are interred here, but from other wars. For example, here we have Vernon Arts, who was in World War II. Born November 26, 1921 and died October 1, 2011. Yeah. World War II. And this one right here, you can tell, pretty fresh. Matthew Lynch died sometime this year in 2024. This is a nice one. Getting back into the Revolutionary War Patriots that are interred here. Here we have John Wan. And uh, yeah, he was on that sign too that we saw at front. Good to be 64 years old. Was in the Revolutionary War. And I thank you for your service. This is interesting. This is uh, John Leach, who was a native of Ireland. Died January 9th, 1812, was 90 years old. Another one that lived a long life. God bless you, John. Although not Revolutionary War, but this is the crypt of George Evans. It's the only crypt that I see here in the cemetery. 1906. And look, maybe we can get a peek inside. I see beautiful stained glass. Oh, yeah. There you go. Walked around the back. Here's that stained glass. Can't really see inside though. So I'm walking up this way just to check out a few more and uh, see what other kind of headstones we can come across that look interesting. I just love walking through old cemeteries and graveyards, as you guys probably know. It's just uh, so interesting and fascinating at the same time. And especially this time of year, October, we have Halloween. Lots of things like this going on. But yeah, there you go. I came across this little headstone right here. It is really hard to read. I can't make out anything on it. Even when I zoom in with high def. It's hard to read, but it looks like it's that of an infant. Plus, you can see it's cracked right there, but it's a little grave. I'm assuming maybe it was a child. Maybe it belonged to them, I'm not sure. But, yeah. 
Look at the markers around this area here. It's close to the fence. It's they've got all these little markers. Not sure maybe it was for a fence or something that used to be up around it. I guess. Resting Isaiah Drennan. Yeah, it looks like it was maybe some type of fence that went up around it. So I'm making my way back up toward the gate where I came in. It seems like that's where a lot of the older graves are anyway. So we're going to check out a few more here at the head of Christiana. The historic head of Christiana Cemetery up here in Delaware. Not Revolutionary War, but here we have Henry Sargent, Delaware. He was in World War I, born February 20th, 1880, died November 2nd, 1960. He was 80 years old. Thank you for your service, Henry. So here's the final resting place of John Morrison, who actually died earlier this year. Looks like he was about 100 years old. Was a U.S. veteran, I'm assuming World War II. And he's uh, interred right here. And John, thank you for your service. So I walked outside of the cemetery, and as you can see, there is a sanctuary. We're going to go check out back here. This is the view of the cemetery I'm on the other side of the wall here. Looks like they have another gate right there. There's a somebody lives there. There you go. Here's a back view of the church. So just up ahead is the sanctuary, which we will be checking out. So right here is the sanctuary. Looks like there's a pond over there. The fountain. Oh, I must miss the steps. Let's go up and check this out. Well, this is nice. We have benches where you can sit, reflect. How oh, nice. Blue skies. Look at that. Beautiful day. When it's nice out, I'm out. All right, so I'm going to wrap things up right here in the sanctuary as I sit down and reflect a little bit on visiting this historic cemetery. It's the head of Christiana cemetery up here in newcastle delaware that's it so if you want to come check it out very nice and uh i met someone that worked at the church she came out and asked me if i needed any help with anything i told her what i was doing and she finally gave me a booklet so that was very nice of her it shows the history of the church and cemetery uh but yeah since 1706 that's how long it's been here and uh, lots of Revolutionary War Patriots are interred here as well as other war Patriots as you saw so I hope that you enjoyed checking out the video I really appreciate you watching thank you 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 and you thank you so much appreciate it and until the next one 
Remember to be a good human being. Share a smile and be the reason why someone does smile. This is Pete saying, peace out.